Shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Bay. This is Cooter. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Freedom Ordnance FX9 pistol. This is a PCC, which is a pistol caliber carbine. This is um, like an AR pistol, pistol caliber carbine, whatever you like to call it. It's classified as a pistol, so it's legal to carry in your vehicle if you're in a state that you're allowed to carry a pistol in, locked and loaded. So I live in Pennsylvania. We're allowed to carry in the car locked and loaded. So this is a good car gun. Now, when I say car gun, I don't mean leave it unattended, but this is cool to carry in your car as long as you're in your car. I am not a fan of people leaving guns in unattended vehicles. I just think that's irresponsible. So that's what I mean by car gun, because you're not going to carry this on your person. It's too big, but you can definitely have it in your car, locked and loaded and ready to go. Uh, so before we unbox this, let me go over real quick uh, how I landed on this particular one. Because I was in the market for a 9mm pistol caliber carbine. I, I like them. I think they're fun to play around with at the range. Um, I think they're ideal for home defense. Um, really good all around. Very versatile. Especially the ones that accept Glock magazines. Which all the ones I looked at, looked at seriously took Glock mags. There was only one that I looked at that didn't accept Glock mags. And that was the High Point. 9 millimeter carbine, which is nice. And a lot of people say ill high point, but if you look at the reviews on YouTube, I didn't see not one bad review on the high point um, pistol caliber carbines in all chamberings. They all had rave reviews. Now the high point pistols, they're ugly, but they work. I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've shot a couple of high points. They're ugly. They just really, really ugly. I take that back. Um, they're made out of cheap pop metal, but they shoot. So what more can you really ask for in a gun if that's all you got, you know? So I looked at the high point, even though that didn't accept Glock Max, I did look at it because of the price and the reliability. Um, I looked at the Ruger PC carbine that accepts Glock Max. Um, I just didn't like the way it looked. It looked like a 1022 and I didn't want a 1022. Um, I looked at the PSA, that's Palmetto State Armory, their AR9, really good. It was 550 bucks. I just didn't think the value was there for 550 bucks for that one. It didn't have last um, round hold open. And that to me, for something like this, that's what I want. Now, I know some of you in the comments might say that's kind of petty, but that's a deal breaker for me. I can't say what's a deal breaker for you. Um, then I looked at um, the X-Star EP9. Now, the problem with the X-Star is it's never in stock. It's a great little AR type of pistol that accept Glock mags. And it comes in three different chamberings, but they're never in stock. I saw it in stock one time. The one time I saw it in stock, um, I wasn't ready to buy. And then when I was ready to buy, it was never in stock. I, I stalked their website for like two weeks and it was never in stock. And that's $419. That's a couple hundred dollars cheaper than this guy. And I thought the value was there. It had all the features that I wanted. I said, okay, it's not as pretty as this one. But again, it looked really nice. And it was pretty cool for the money, four hundred nineteen dollars versus six hundred and fifty dollars for this for you for self war tool is going to do the same thing. And the X Star got great reviews too, but I couldn't get my hands on one. I could have waited and waited and waited and waited, but to me, if a company can't return the stock within two to three weeks, that more than likely indicates I might have problems with the gun. If I have problems with the gun, as far as getting the service fixed and getting it turned around back to me if I do have to send it in. So I just kind of stayed away from them until they get their stock issues all worked out or until they hire more staff. So what you came for? FX9 pistol. Right away when you open the box, you're going to get a few niceties because this is the enhanced shooters package from Classic Firearms. This is their enhanced shooter package. You get a nice bit of kit for the money. So this $650 carbine, which is kind of expensive, but it's, it's more expensive than the others in the group that I named. Now, there are some out there that cost even more than this, but the three I looked at, this is the most expensive. But this also has the most features, and it comes with the most accessories. So I think it's worth the price. Right, so you're going to get... This is the standard mag that come with the FX9, no matter what vendor you get it from. Okay, this is the SGM Tactical 33 round magazine. Now, 
Okay, so you got the metal uh, line insert and it's got the witness windows. That's the stack, the stock one. Now, just as a quick FYI for you guys, everything in the box, classic, they do it right. It's going to come wrapped in all this bubble wrap. I took it off for the sake of the video, but everything, the mags, your red dot, the gun, everything comes wrapped in bubble tape. So the guys over at Classic really know how to do it. Okay. So that's the, the standard magazine that's going to come with your FX9, regardless of vendor. Now, the enhanced shooter package is going to roll in three of these Korean Glock mags. I'm not sure of the brand, but uh, they, they got the metal lining, just like the SGM Tactical. And these are 33 round. They say 31, but these are 33. I would probably put 30 in each one. So you're gonna, so that's gonna give you a total, guys. Check this out. Four fun sticks right out the box. Right out the box. That's a lot of firepower. Then you're gonna get this Aim Sports red dot. Now I didn't try this out yet. I didn't even open it yet, but I'm gonna do another video. We're gonna look at this thing put together. We're gonna do some comparisons. You got your battery, you got your tools for elevation windage and to mount it onto the rail. Not bad. So that's included. Um, another enhancement that you probably will not get on this unless, I do believe Freedom is now doing these from the factory, these little muzzle enhancers. I think they just dare to make the gun look cooler. I don't think they do anything as far as compensation, flash hiding or anything like that. But they do make it look really nice. Okay, we're going to come back to the pistol in a second, guys. I know that's what you came for. In the box, also, you're going to get a nice detailed instruction manual. It's in full color. I like that. And I was looking at this last night. You get a good walkthrough on everything, how to take it apart, clean it, how to, how to just do everything. So if you don't know your way around the AR platform, no problem. This will help you. Okay. Now, that's not it. You get one more thing before we take a look at the pistol itself. With this enhanced shooter package, you're also going to get a Bulldog carry bag for your FX9. Okay, that's going to come as part of the enhanced shooter package from Classic Firearms. Nobody's giving you a deal like this, guys. Six fifty. You're going to get a dot. You're getting three additional thirty-three round mags and a carry bag. No way. Six fifty. That's a hell of a deal right there. So, and notice I said deal, D I L L. <laughs> so here's this is your bulldog carry bag. You're gonna get mag pouches, three mag pouches. Let's take a look at that. Now these mag pouches. Okay, let's see if we can fit two in there. Because if you can fit two happy sticks in there, that'd be crazy. Look at that. So you can carry six happy sticks plus one. On the rifle, because it will fit in the bag with a full, with a full mag. So you can carry seven happy sticks with this. Not a problem. Look at that. I think when Ben did the presentation for a class of firearms channel, he had one in each, but you could fit two. And you can fit some other documents that you may need. Let's open it up. Look at that. I don't know if I'm getting it all in the frame, but you could definitely fit the FX9 in here fully loaded and ready to go. It's got a shoulder carrying strap and a carrying handle. Again, we're going to do another video. I'm going to do another video on this FX9 where it's going to be in the bag and uh, we'll go from there. So now let's take a look at the FX9 AR pistol. It's got the FX9 branding on it. It's got a shockwave brace included. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, this is pot, not pot, Jesus Christ. This is billet aluminum, upper and lower. You can feel the weight. You can feel the weight. This is not cheap. This is well made, well constructed. No, very little rattling. Only thing I wish the charging handle was a little bit bigger, but that's not a problem. Look at that. Last bolt hold open. I like this paddle right here for your mag release. Okay. Nice. Look at that muzzle enhancer. Isn't that nice, guys? Beautiful. This feels so good in the hands. 
You got your fire safety switch. It's just all the controls and everything just feels really premium. You got your Freedom Ordinance branding right there. Look at this. Guys, I'm telling you. For the money, I, I, I'm very happy. For the money, it's a lot of money. It's not really a cheap gun. I mean, when you think about something like this, you think 650 that's a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of niceties for your 650 Now, you can buy them cheaper. You can get cheaper um, 9mm carbines cheaper, but this offers a nice little bang for the buck. It looks good. It seems like it's well built. All I got to do now is take it to the range and shoot it. Hopefully, I'm lining up with a new range where I can take video where I can take video of myself shooting, and we can do a range test on this, and I can bring you guys along with it. I haven't been able to do range videos because... I don't have a good range in my area. The one range that I do use, I've been using for years. I don't know why, but he does not allow any recording in the um, in the lanes. So I couldn't record any footage of me shooting anything. But I think I got to hook up with a new range where I can go in with recording equipment and record um, some shooting impressions on these firearms. Because I would, I am going to bring you guys some shooting impressions of this with different types of ammo and different type of magazines. So this has been the FX9 pistol. This is from Classic Firearms. This is the enhanced shooter package that they're offering right now. Go on their website, check it out. The price is $650 plus shipping, depending on where you live. Shipping and handling your FF, FFL fee, you're looking at right under $800 bucks for this total. That's what it costs me. $650 plus tax, shipping, and a $40 transfer. I was right at about seven, seven and a half for this. And I think it was money well spent. Well, guys, this is Cooter, and this has been another one, the FX9 Pistol. I'll see you in the next one. More videos to follow. Thanks for supporting the channel. We're at 172 subscribers. We're growing steadily. Um, guys, when you stop by, take a look at the videos. If you like the content, look at some of the other videos. See if you like anything. Subscribe. That helps me, uh, it helps me grow. Share the videos. Let's get some more foot traffic in. Just want to keep on growing the channel and bring you some good content, guys. Thanks a lot.